Good morning, friends. Boy, Pastor Levi was here. It's me. I am here every Monday, guys, doing my weekly um, um, devotional, Monday morning devotional, guys, that you do. I build this you now book that I wrote two years ago, guys. But this book is blessing people around the world. So I decided, at least since I wrote it, I'm going to be verbal now. I'm going to come on every Monday and bless you with it. This is week 18, and I'm ready to get started to pop you up this week to give you some encouragement. Hope your weekend was purely, truly blessed. Listen, this week past weekend, we have the NFL draft. You know, all of us are looking at the NFL draft and watching for our guy to be picked and all that kind of stuff. And the NFL was looking for a huge approval rating. But guys, guess what this week is about? It's about God's approval. God's approval. The Bible said in Hebrews 6, Hebrews 11 and 6, it says, Without faith, it is impossible to please God. For he who comes to God must believe that he is and a rewarder of, 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 of those who seek his faith. That means the only the way we get God's approval is where our approval rating go up is that we just have faith in God. The NFL wanted the approval rating so bad, they went on and looked at all the numbers of those who watched it and their approval rating were rather high this weekend because we couldn't do what they couldn't be, uh, had to be virtual. But listen, God is already approving you and I when we believe in him by faith. I know we try to put on clothes for people to like us to get people approval. We try to put the right stuff out there on Facebook to get people approval. We want everybody to like our stuff to get an approval. And I realize if you are in the retail business and those things, you need approval rating to keep your clientele to stay on the air. I'm not knocking those things. But those things become internal though. When they become internal, guys, where you start getting approval rating based on who like you, how you don't uh, do dress, how if you put stuff on Facebook and nobody like it, and you or you base your stuff on who do like it, and it, you eternalize that, that is dangerous, people. That is dangerous. I want to encourage your heart right now. All God said to have a strong approval rating in him is have faith in him. Uh-oh. To have a strong approval rating, all you need from him is to have faith in him. And so he's saying this right here. If you believe in me and then seek after me, your approval ratings are already up. I approve you, child. You are strong, Lord. You are more than a conqueror. You are more than the money you got in the bank. You are more than the nefarious stuff that's happening in the atmosphere. You are more than the education that you, that you already got. You are more than, your, than, than the thing you're trying to possess. Because you know why? Because I've already approved you. I've already approved you. Yes, you get more education. Yes, you get more money in the bank. Yes, you must do those things you need to do. But let me tell you some child of God and woman of God, you are already approved because you believe in him. That's why he said, don't walk in guilt. Don't walk in shame. Don't walk in despair. You may not have the same as, as, as much money as the other guy. You may not have the same education as the other guy, but you're already approved. Man, that's a powerful stuff to know you're already approved. Instead of trying to go get approval from everybody else. Everybody else. Because she said it. He said it. That's okay. Let them say that. But when you're approved by God and God got your back, you walk in confidence. You walk in faith. You walk in and get the reward of what of the, uh, uh, from God who because you're seeking after him. I mean, he'll, when your approval rating is up, he gives you what you need when you need it. Hey, God, I want to stop this thing. Listen, this week, this is week 18. I need you to do me a favor. Share this. Bless somebody this week. Also, God, I encourage you this word this week, this weekend, as we were out teaching this word this weekend about blessing our first responders. When you go to the grocery store this week, guys, when you go out and buy the, the, the cashier, you go to your daughter, anybody that's working and they're, they're serving you, do something special. Give them a bottle of water. Do something special for them and say, you know what? I appreciate you. I'm glad you are doing what you do. You know why? You can do that because you're already approved. A person that's already approved, bless other people. Listen, I'm out of here. Listen, I pray God bless on you. You are more than a conqueror. This is going to be one of your best week. I'm declaring that right now in the name of Jesus by faith. I pray those who are on the ventilator that you come off that ventilator, that God will strengthen you. The corona numbers will go down and God will be glorified. I love you and I'll see you next Monday, guys. Be blessed.